Richard Shepherd and Soul Foods King of Kings. Fish and chips doesn't have quite the same effect. Now we'd like to bring you up to date on a couple of stories from the last series. First, BSE. We questioned a year ago why animal offal was still being fed to pigs and chickens when it had been implicated in causing BSE in cattle. Well, this September, certain specified offals were finally banned from all animal feed after government scientists had succeeded in transferring BSE to a pig. But you remember that in a food and drink poll, viewers voted that they didn't wish any animal remains to be fed to animals that would not normally eat meat, by a huge margin. In fact, it's only certain offal that's now been banned. Animal protein is still processed for feeds. Despite widespread concern about what else can be done with the animal remains, this is a practice that many food and drink viewers are clearly opposed to. Organic farmers and a few other traditionalists do not employ this practice. We'll be reporting to you during the series on who they are and whether their numbers are growing. Julie. And you may remember that after Perrier's benzene fiasco, we questioned whether the top-selling French water was correctly labelled. They were calling it naturally carbonated, even though the gas was being taken separately from the spring, filtered to take out any benzene, and then pumped back into the water. A novel interpretation of the word natural, as we pointed out at the time, and as an expert lawyer agreed. Sainsbury's subsequently refused to stock Perrier unless they'd changed their labels. Then the Ministry of Agriculture, via the French government, asked Perrier to rephrase their labels, and the new ones come into force this Thursday. Now they'll say natural mineral water fortified with gas from the spring. It may all seem a bit technical, but it's surely important that food and drink labelling is as clear and accurate as can be. And so say all of us. Finally, we hope as many of you as possible will enter our Master Cook competition, which once again we're running with the Radio Times. Radio Times have provided you with a strong incentive by organising some amazing prizes. The winner will get this £15,000 luxury kitchen, the runner-up also gets a kitchen, while the third prize is a fridge freezer, and fourth and fifth prizes are dishwashers. What do we have to do to win these, Michael? Well, we're asking you to send us your favourite recipe for a Christmas pie. If you reach the finals, you're going to have to cook it for us in London. And in addition, you'll need to answer a few questions, which are all set out with the details in the next two editions of the Radio Times. It's not difficult. Why not have a go? Kelly wrote the questions. Anyone can answer them. He <laughs> said he wouldn't tell. That's it for the moment. Till next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. No, I got this for the moment.